All right, what's up, everybody? How we doing? Okay, so this is a um, kind of an update to an update. <clears throat> so if you've watched the uh, one of my latest video on connecting to the on how to connect to the AlphaNet and ZeroNet, the ZeroNet was reset, and there was a couple changes made in, in terms of the command line interface. Okay, and so it took me a couple weeks to figure it out. All right, because there is absolutely no support for the ZeroNet. Um, and they make that very clear. The AlphaNet seems like you can. It seems like you can get the script. However, it doesn't seem like TZScan.io is tracking its progress, and a lot of and, and a lot of <clears throat> a lot more of the activity is taking place on the ZeroNet. Okay, and so it's fairly easy. All right. However, it, it's a little tricky. Okay. So you're going to be one. So just like I showed you guys in the last video, I'm running. I'm running. Uh, the Tezos script through a container, all right, and Docker. So I'm using the Docker to run the container for the Tezos or for the Tezos, bo both the Tezos AlphaNet and and uh, the ZeroNet. Okay. So what you're going to do for the ZeroNet is you're going to go to faucet.tzalpha.net, all right, and you're going to grab one of these JSON wallets. Okay. All right. It's going to download, and I like to move it to my desktop. Okay. And so I have one here. After you move that JSON uh, file to your de desktop, okay, and this is what it's going to kind of look like. It's going to contain a pneumatic key, a secret key, the amount, right? The amount of tezzies. Now, I'm not sure if this this is correct. I don't. I'm not sure if there if the faucet is is um, is providing alpha or zero net tezzies anymore anymore. But it does seem like this has an amount here, okay? But I'm not sure. However, just for you know practice purposes, you want to be able to do this, right? And so there's a private key hash, a password, and I'm not sure what the email is for, but whatever. And so here's the hash of that, .json. So this is JSON file. I got it from faucet.tzalphanet.net or faucet.tzalpha.net, all right? It downloaded to my, de uh, it went into my downloads and I moved it to my desktop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my terminal where I have the, um, where I have the uh, the zero net script at. So as you see here, right where our, where my cursor is at, zero net dot sh. When you it's you have to move this JSON file into this or into this directory. Okay, all right. And so I'm running in, in root. It looks like here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type mv move. Okay. I'm going to copy this. into that directory, all right, which is root. Bow. And so ls boom. And so it shows right here. All right? And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type dot dot slash zero net dot sh act or client activate account I'm going to call it M or I'm going to call it M1 with container boom all right and then I'm going to copy and paste this guy all right this is the JSON file so I'm going to copy and paste that boom okay I'm going to hit enter let's see if this works bah. Okay, so operation successfully injected into the node. Okay, waiting for the operation to be included. Okay, so we'll wait for that, and then I'm just gonna really quick go back over uh, how to uh, grab the uh, Tezos zero net script. Probably should have did that, you know, before, so we can, uh, um, so everything can stay in sequence in terms of ordering. But doing this on the fly while I'm here at work. And so this may take a while, uh, no worries, okay? Don't worry about that. Okay, and so we got a account created, and it said that it gave me 86,454 tezzies. Okay, there we go, boom. So that's how, that, that's how you're going to get a wallet, and you're going to... Uh, active. That's how you're going to get that wallet. You're going to get it from faucet.tzalpha.net 
You're going to download it here. I moved it over to my desktop. Okay. After I moved it over to my desktop, move from in your terminal, move, copy and paste the JSON file to, to the directory where you have your zero net.sh file. Okay. And then from there, you're going to run zero net dot sh client activate account whatever you want to call it with container json file copy and paste the json file hit enter and it'll get it up running and so <clears throat> then of course you're going to run stuff like this zero net dot sh client uh, register key as delegate and all that good stuff okay and of course, I will upload another link, including all the command line interface for the zero net documentation, okay, with all the different commands for setting a delegate, um, picking a delegate, uh, registering that key as a baker, and baking and all that good stuff, okay? All of that is in the zero net documentation, and none of that has pretty much changed, okay? But just to show you how you get the script again, let me move this over real quick, because I think I got the screenshot here. Okay, boom. So, shouts out to, I think it was Tezos who, okay, cool. Ander XXTZ hooked it up here, okay? So, uh, in your terminal, to get the zero net script, if you're already, if you've already ran the alpha net, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to type at HTTPS raw dot get hub user user content dot com slash tezos slash tezos slash master slash scripts slash alpha net okay and you might not have to do this if you already have the alpha net um, if you already have the alphanet script downloaded, you just want to, or, uh, you know, filed into your directory. You just want to make sure that when you get the zero net command, or when you get the zero net, uh, script that you understand what directory that went to and you move that JSON file that you got from that faucet into that directory. Okay. Dot SH and you're going to hit enter. All right. And that, that'll grab the script for you. Okay. After you do that, you got three lines of code you're going to run to get the zero net. Okay, simple, simple as pie. All right, it's going to be move mv move alpha dot sh zero net dot sh enter. Okay. After that's done, you're going to hit chmod uh, plus plus x zero net dot sh enter okay and then zero net or dot dot slash zero net dot sh start boom and that's going to grab the uh zero net script for you okay and then you're going to repeat you're going to repeat the steps that i showed you in the beginning of this video to get the tezos um to get the uh the uh alpha net json file the uh well the zero net json file that contains the tezzies alrighty and then the documentation for how to run the different operations and and the and the zero net will be at the it will be at a link at the bottom of this video okay I hope this helps everybody because I've been uh, getting a lot of questions on Twitter and on YouTube in terms of what's going on with the zero net why is the alpha net working well the zero net has is where all the activity is and there was just a few changes made and I have just gone over those changes so I hope this helps you guys out I'll see you next time alright later